right, you guys, so the pool noodle technique worked. Uh, minimal crink crinkles along the pipe. So it's just as simple as that. I had two friends help me out and we rolled it up nice and tight, slid the rings on and it worked great. So I kept the pool noodle on here during transport to get it up here to the lakeside. So that was probably a good idea too. Now, when I got here, the wind was very light, but we got a storm moving in. Although it's a, it's a uh, snowstorm, a late spring snowstorm. So we just can't seem to get rid of all this lousy weather around here. So it's certainly gonna be key today to get the uh, chimney pipe up with ground tie-offs, guy wires on the spark arrestor. So it's probably gonna take a few minutes. We'll uh, come back to that here in a minute and then we'll get this thing fired up. <sighs> all right, guys. Had to relocate because of those freaking wind started picking up pretty bad. And over here we just have the waterfall sounds to deal with, but we finally set up. I did have one casualty with the uh, stove pipe, unfortunately. While I was trying to tie off the guy wires, of course one of the guy wires snagged on a branch and the entire stove fell and bent the shit out of the stove pipe right there on that massive log. So it's got a super ugly crease in it right now, although I tried so very carefully to uh, get it up here from one site to the next in and out of the car with the pool noodles intact and still you know that's just the way it goes perfect perfect anyways here we are i've got the sweet little unit completely wiped down and free of fingerprints and we're gonna try this thing out we've got one little pile of wood here and while that's starting to burn in we're going to go and collect some more wood we've got some uh, wood cutting devices here so Let's get this thing started. Pretty excited about it. And it's gonna be pretty cool. Losing daylight too. Should have about an hour left, but. Suspecting it'll take a good 30 to 40 minutes to really get this thing through its process here. the best arrangement for this thing started. Try to close the door for a sec. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Definitely nice and toasty and warm, that's for sure. Starting to get some deformation up on top here. But I think those re reinforcements are helping that quite a bit. Cool. Well, the uh, flu, I believe it's called. That's uh, turning nice and blue. Pretty sweet, it's turning a nice bronze color. funny how small of pieces you have to cut down to such a tiny little stove. That 
freaking Baku Laplander, man. That thing is sharp as heck. Well, we're definitely getting some nice blueing coloring going on here now. It's freaking beautiful. It's really cool. See how black the glass got, but from what I understand, that will clean itself off just kind of on and off throughout the throughout the burn just as the temperature climbs that's pretty neat now this is just fallen wood off of these uh, cottonwoods here so it should be relatively free of too much soot so pretty much just trying to get this thing cranked up to the max temperatures really so I can let it cool down pack it up and head out of here All right, throw these these big ones in there. See what happens. But yeah, check out the coloring now. Thing definitely got nice and hot. That's for sure. It's kind of neat how they're logo looks as though it's kind of embossed, you know, the way they laser, laser etch it like that. So anyway, with a little snowstorm brewing up, um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to actually get out and use this thing. I had to get the sewing project knocked out in at least the small tent in short order, and I just don't think I'm gonna have time to do that, unfortunately, but We'll definitely try to get that prioritized and get it set up and then head out and for just kind of a cool camp night. I'll try to get it into some higher elevations and just at least be able to test out the heat in this thing. Uh, it's going to be tricky. I'm going to set up the tent here in a minute, the MSR Twin Sisters, to try to, once this cools down, to try to kind of mark off where exactly I want the pipe to come out. Because I can tell you right now, man, this thing kicks out a massive amount of heat. So the beauty of course with these uh, closures, the vents, um, you can set it up so that it burns a lot slower through the night so you don't have to load it up as much. And I'm certain that uh, we won't have to load it up with very much wood in that tiny little tent. It'll be a different story in the truck tent, but uh, in the small, roll-up tent we're going to be able to put just a little bit of wood in there and close it down quite a bit so that it burns nice and slow so that's cool it's got a nice bronze color and blue so i to burn through a little bit more wood here and then practically just kind of let it cool down i suppose got to get it one more Superheat, burn in, and then we'll cut 
call it a day. Yeah, collects the big logs just as well.